Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I go shopping for some of my work gear. Alright, so in my last video I showed you guys how uncomfortable my shoes were and I'll just be taking you along with me to get some new shoes and also some new clothing. Alright, so this shoe that I'm wearing is actually my husband's running shoes. They're currently a size 10 and they are so comfortable. I hope I find something half as decent and breathable and comfortable and easy to wear as this pair of shoes. They should go find past who gets them safe. I should go keep it. Anyway, <laughs> the first place I went to was Poundland. And I just started to check, check around in their sports section because they had some um, joggers, they had some running boots, running shoes, whatever. Um, they had a section for that. And I decided to shop for some joggers for work because we had to wear black pants. I took two pairs of that. Uh, but that was all I could find in Poundland. I could not get the shoes that I wanted. So I decided to try a charity shop close by this one is called banados all right so they have a lot a lot of things um sorry for the poor camera angle i'm trying not to capture the faces of people in the store but i'll show you all the nice things that they had they had really nice shoes that were my size but they were not black the shoes that i had to wear to work were color black and i was looking for color black but they had really nice ones but they were just not black so i just tried to do a little window shopping i held myself not to buy something that was out of budget look at all the nice things they had uh, on display and but the thing with thrift shops is it's like digging for treasure you really don't know what you're going to get look at this jacket now it's only six pounds and it's it's thick it's thick enough i mean there were a variety of coats um just rummage through all of them you would definitely find something that can fit you and will be within your price range some of them um ironically are brand new have never been worn before some of them i've only been worn a couple of times some of them are you know just really great bargain i have bought quite a number of things here at the charity shop and i encourage as many people as you know would like to shop on a budget or live on a budget to try out charity shops well for a couple of reasons you will be donating to a good cause and also you will be getting a lot of things at good bargains i mean are you seeing all these bags and shoes for really cheap money like really ridiculous money i bought a pair of heels here for just seven pounds and they have really served me very very well i mean they had things for children as well um i saw this really nice black trainers or a canvas for my son but i can't buy it for his school because it's a less up and they only allow velcro in his school so anyways i just started to look around they had a lot of nice things i mean their store was full like jam-packed sometimes you go there sometimes they have some really nice things sometimes they they don't have as much things as you would like or you can't find something like that you're looking for um like today where i'm looking for a color black trainers or running shoes i just couldn't find it and um anyway i had a look in the other sections for um clothes and also home decor just look at this men's trainers now white trainers for 20 pounds if you're to buy this in the store it'd probably be like 50 pounds or higher you know so i mean it's definitely worth checking out then i actually find what i'm looking for also in vanados and i have to head to town so before i headed to town i decided to check out the just in case they might have something in my size or just running shoes or anything so that's where i'm heading to right now aldi and it's just across from where i was before all right so when i got in everything was already calling me calling me calling me i don't know if anybody has been to aldi recently the way they i, I feel like everybody should be boycotting the middle of aldi because everything will just be calling you 
this is where most people spend the time. I mean, they put everything on display intentionally just to keep you occupied. Anyway, I found some shoes, but then I, I didn't I wasn't convinced that these were all the shoes that they had. So I asked the attendant and she told me they had some at the back. And so she proceeded to the back to show me some more of the running shoes. So that is where we're going. I mean the display of goods they were, it's so uncoordinated but it's intentional all right so they had some more back here but i was more interested in this section you saw this one first caught my eye but then the color was not right i was always testing the shoes for you know flexibility for comfort and all of that but none of them caught my eye like this one this was even the color that i was looking for i'm like uh uh oh my dry and i first saw like color nine and then i started looking like if i could get a bigger size because the one i was wearing my husband's shoes the white one i'm currently wearing in this video is a size 10 and i'm looking for something that has a lot of room that is very you know flexible because i'm going to be walking and moving around a lot oh no i balance away for this section i begin bend shoe i begin test shoe anyhow nobody could even tell me anything i was here i was struggling between a size 9 and a size 11 and i just had to take my time and test out the shoes properly when i come up global everybody was looking at me i took off my shoes i was testing the shoe because i had to make sure that the shoe was like my size and eventually i decided to go with this size 9 but then guess what happens i finished looking for the shoes I'm taking them out. I was going to queue to pay. Then I realized that I left my card at home. I'm going back home now to get my card. Process. <sighs> Alright, so thankfully we did not stay too far away. So going back to get my card was not that much of a big deal. But it was just time wasted. Anyway, I remember that I also needed an, an umbrella. So I went back into Poundland to get one. These ones were about one pound. And in retrospect, they were really not worth it. Because this particular umbrella spoiled the very first time I used it. Because the wind that carried this umbrella, that spoiled this umbrella, it was not from here. I also remember that I needed an, a water bottle. Because my what about i can't find the cover but this ones they were not looking okay at all the prices were not even looking commensurate with the price as well so <laughs> it was just looking what kind so i should have paid for the bottle and then i went back into aldi all right so if this is your first time on this channel you are more than welcome please consider subscribing and remember to click on that bell notification icon that way you get notified every single time i upload a new video which is at least once every week and to my returning subscribers you, you guys it is awesome accolades thank you so much for remembering to click on the video thank you so much for always returning back to watch anyway so i made my way back to aldi and then i went straight back to where those shoes were just to make sure that nobody had touched my merchandise because i already hid it somewhere anyway i made my way over there and then i decided to just pick up the shoe and go before anything else enter my eye because this art it'd be like say they do jazz for this place if you spend more than one minute here you another thing will be calling you i also remember that my um son made a bottle for his school but this one is it's a Harry Potter or something. It's it's witchcraft. I just left it and then the bottle was never looking strong again. I'm like, mm -mm, this one will spoil. So I decided to leave it and just look for something else. I decided to look for something a bit stronger that he can use because as a child, they are they're prone to accidents. Perhaps as this year, I already used two bottles and broke on them with this school. I don't know which kind of play they are playing. But anyway, I found that this one that was metal i felt like ah, last last this one should be strong enough but i didn't like the color blue i felt like it was very stereotypy -ish. and then i was like mm, i'm looking for something else if i can find another color and then i now saw one gray i said okay let me take that one i took it 
and then I decided to go back to my merchandise quickly before someone else grabs it. So on getting there, I found my shoes the exact same way I kept it. It's like we were still expecting that crazy lady testing shoes in the aisle to come back. Anyway, I was just about to take the 9 and go and then I'm like, ah, Umotola, why don't you take size 11? And then I started to put it on. Ah, size 11 was not feeling, wasn't looking bad at all. I'm like, ah, this can actually work out because that, that means like that's more room and all of that. It didn't actually feel like it was so big. Ah, but I just tried to go with the 11 and go. I'm like, ah, no. It's better to have more room to, you know, flex and all of that and then that have it height their feet that doesn't even do me any good so i'm like size 11 is not that bad i mean size 8 by the way i use a big 8 but then size 11 was not looking too big and then it was very comfortable it was very roomy and everything i'm gonna pick this shoe like that and i went to go and pay i paid for them and then i went back home i mean comfort for me i'm that first day he told me that comfort is number one over everything. I can't stress it enough. You know, comfort is is always number one for me. Uh, especially after that day because the particular shoe that I was complaining about, I know how I felt most want to buy that shoe because it was fine. But fine is not what you need for a 12 hour shift. My brethren, fine is not what you need for a 12 hour shift. It's very uncomfortable. But here's the shoe. I mean, you can hardly tell that it's a size 11. You cannot tell, except I tell you. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.